Hello the Revelin and welcome back to Cold War, an Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, France Lover? We'll see about that, but Generals take control of Algiers. Generals Andre Zella, Edmond Joshua, Maurice Charlet, and Goran perpetrated a plot against de Gaulle. They executed it tonight in the 1st Foreign Parachute Regiment under the command of Captain Hilaire Donois de Saint-Marc, acted at Acting command of the regiment seized Algiers in three hours, including the governor, the general government of Algiers, City Hall, radio stations, and the Algiers airport. The only casualty of the operation is Marshal Pierre Brillant, gunned down while defending all OLED Fayette's radio transmitter. The prefect of police, Maurice Papon, and the director of the National Security Administration set up a crisis cell in the lounge of the Comédie Francais, while General de Gaulle attends with Leopold Sidar Senghorn at the presentation of Britannic Britannicus. The head of the state was informed during the intermission by Jacques Foucault, Je Secretary General for African and Malagasy Affairs, his closest associate officially, de Gaulle was warned after the performance. Rumored that the General Gerard gave up on the plot is still up for debate. Intelligence came back with a report on. Seize control with Constantine? He stands down. I don't know which one it is, but uh, I'll do this one. Bouche de General, plot of Paris. This morning, the population of Algiers awoke to the news that the army is taking control of Algeria and the Sahara. Three rebel generals, Maurice Chalet, uh, Edmond Johaud and André Zeller, in agreement with the col colonels Godard, Argaud, and L Lacheroy, arrested the delegate general of the government, Jean Morin, and the minister of the transport, Robert Boron, who was traveling, and a number of civilian and military authorities. Some regiments defect and follow the orders of the rebel leaders in Paris. The police tried to arrest General Jacques Faure in disorganized fashion, as well as six other officers and some civilians involved in the plot of Paris, a plan to support the coup into mainland France. At the Council of Ministers at 5 p.m., de Gaulle Serene said, what is serious in this case, gentlemen, is that it is not serious. Algeria remains in a state of emergency. The left-wing parties, the unions, and the League of Human Rights call for demonstrating the opposition of the workers and the Democrats to the coup de force in Algiers. The fate of Jacques Faure is still unknown. And I think historically it was he was arrested, but failed to spread the word but was not arrested. He was arrested historically. And we're still doing the Algerian referendum. Um, yeah. Not bad. And I think I did, I did do increased standard of living as well as industrialization last time. Bush the General de Gaulle speech. In the night, General Salan arrived in Algeria from Spain and refused to arm civilian activists. At 8 p.m., President de Gaulle appeared in his 1940s vintage military uniform and TV, calling on French military personnel and civilians in the metropolitan France or in Algeria to oppose the putsch due to the popularity of the recent invention. Transistor radio. De Gaulle's call was heard by the conscript soldiers who refused to mass to follow the professional soldiers' call for insurgency and in some cases jailed their officers. The putsch met with widespread opposition, largely in the form of civil resistance, including one hour. General strike called by the U trade unions a day after de Gaulle's broadcast. Within the army itself, much depend on the position taken by individual senior officers. 13th Light Division of Infantry, responsible for the strategic zone Sud Oranias, and including foreign legion units, followed the lead of its commander, General Philippe Ginstet, and remaining loyal to the government in Paris. The success of the mutinies are still unknown. Conscript soldiers finally fight back against the push. And crack down on the Russian Orthodox Church. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know about that. Please go ahead. Destalinization. Uh, Sharif Seed Kara speech. Today, the deputy Sharif Seed Kara, himself a Putish in 1958, as chairman of the General Council of Oran, published with 20 other con councillors. General, a statement of support to the Putish. The greet with fervor the dawn of a definitely French Algeria, evident pledge of a real fraternity, and present the deeply emotional tribute of the gratitude to the French army and its leaders, of which they declare themselves to to totally in solidarity. Will this affect the support of the Putish? The Putish are already doomed, they lost all supporters. The fate of Jibois Verte. The uh, French government authorities in Paris ordered the expulsion or explosion of the atomic bomb for Bois Verte in the Sahara as part of a scheduled testing program, uh, GV, while he be set to explode today. While the test in the test site are already prepped as part of the national nuclear program, the test timeline will be accelerated to ensure that the security of this device is not compromised. However, rumors of the Putsch trying to take control of the bomb before the government detonated it. So they nuke the area and then leave. End of Algiers Putsch. <clears throat> A few military units, which followed the generals progressively surrendered. General Chalet gave himself up to the authorities and was immediately transferred to metropolitan France. The Putsch had been extremely squashed, successfully squashed, but Article 16 granting full and extraordinary powers to de Gaulle will be maintained for five months. The Battle of the Transistors, as it was called by the press, was quickly and definitely won by de Gaulle. And French words. That's really sad. Failure of the coup, huh? General's coup, stay in Algeria. Crush the FLN. Authoritarian France would be nice. Which fails. And there goes France. And that's why we have no respect for the French. Create the FAD in Algeria. Well, I mean... Politique de grandeur? I don't know about that, man. 
Universal suffrage. This is why we really just cannot respect the French. Can we now? Uh, create the Racine mission, huh? <clears throat> Modular BOM. we got some comms to go through as well. And I think these, these are either ors. We can't suck that one, but we'll do that one too because we can. Oh, France. Oh, France. A Julian referendum. And do the next one. Create the foul. We lose 300 political power, which sucks. Now, I was trying to get Belgium in our sphere, but I didn't realize that we must have double the GDP of the target. Technically, we have 78 billion in GDP and 91% influence, but they only have less than 30 billion. I didn't know 30, almost 30 billion was m more than half of our current GDP. So we'll get a new target, maybe. These guys are completely independent. Their GDP is merely 12 billion, while ours is 78 billion. So, no, we don't have that one. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because we have the European coal and steel community. Governor of Algeria is going to be nobody eventually. Um, influence on us is, doesn't really matter much to, much to us. Um, we need directional antenna, space rated mercury oxide batteries, economic decisions. We have no debt, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Anything here? Not too much. Arms purchasing. Actually, this is not too bad. I don't mind doing more, but we can't really do more currently. Increased funding for the FLNA. Death to the MPLA. What are we good, quite good to do? I guess we couldn't get involved down here too, but... <clears throat> I don't really care for any one of these sides, so... Let them kill each other off. And then we have... The FLN. Just... It's just a mess. Just a mess. And 56% for the... Bamileke War and the Viet... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Republic of Vietnam's got quite a bit more funding than the other group. I'm not even... I've, I've stopped attacking. Actually... Did I actually win there? Probably not, honestly. Yeah, you honestly probably can't win. It's really sad. I mean, this is ridiculous. I get why it's like this. But, if you come over here... Uh, where is it? Advanced Air Force... I don't think they would have an Advanced Air Force Academy. I'm just saying. I could be wrong, but... Actually, what happens if we influence them so much that they, you can puppet them? Oh, there's all that political power. Oh, well. Hedonistic Outlook. Where is it? Because some of this is ridiculous. Um, uh, recently defaulted on debt as they should. Welfare state. Recent austerity measures, which which just murders your economy. Honestly, probably a bit too much. Maybe, maybe not, but still. Uh, what do they have? They have the Vietnam War. So minus 95% division speed. But they get weekly manpower. 20 a flat 25 organization. They get they lose some attack, but they get plus 75% division defense. 800%. Division def or bonus defense bonus against the country of the Republic of Vietnam at 300% for uh, America. Ridiculous. And they still get expert guerrilla fighters plus 50% organization, way less supply consumption, way better enemy air support uh, reduction of penalties, and plus 25% division defense on core territory. And supply grace is still 17,000 hours. Why? Increased consumer spending. Uh, we're probably going to go with develop motorways. Every own state. Uh, that's not bad. Let's do this one first, though. Why is it so much? And there goes all our political power. Whoopsie. Oh, well. Ah, uh, decolonization. They definitely had a chance. As much as I do want to attack, I mean... It just, there's no point doing it. No point attacking. Wow. Look at the economy. I guess we did save it. Look at the services income. Holy crap. Office parks, resource export income. I don't understand this mod at all. Like, I still don't. What are we exporting? Is it all because of the steel? Or light metals? Or is it because of steel? Construction metals. I I don't know. I just cannot figure it out. We got so much money now. It doesn't make any sense. Um, At this point, I mean, if we have more political power, I don't mind increasing services funding, but... We'll see. I mean, it's 1961. And we're going to be losing Algeria. Oh, and some of you all don't want me to. Actually, it looks like the British have really been decolonizing too. I don't want to decolonize. That's not fun. What's the point of fighting for these places at all then? You know? Let it get really bad. Let it get really bad here. Let people kill each other off. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, how much influence do we have over these guys? Uh, uh, so we, oh, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty darn decent. It's a couple comments included though. Let's see. Would it be possible to nuke Kontum? I'm not sure what Kontum is, but maybe. Uh, someone says, the next time we play Iron Curtain, should you try to play as Hungry? 
Return the Habsburgs to the throne and bring back peace, stability, and order to the Balkans under the double-headed eagle. I don't know if Hungary has any sort of unique focus tree like that. This guy's got a butt for a chin. He's a Marxist Leninist, but Janos Kadar? That'd be really cool they did out of it, though. Pacifism? Social question? Is this a... Uh, generic sort of focus tree? I think it is. There's nothing very... It looks like it's very Hungarian-specific, so... Yeah, I don't think it's very, uh... Unique. But maybe eventually, maybe there'll be a path to that. So, no guarantees, but maybe eventually. Um, another comment was... Please establish a French military junta. I wish we just did, but... It is what it is. There's a Cold War Iron Curtain mod working for no step back. No, yes. Try to stay historical. Also keep colonies if you're allowed to. Well, going historical means we can't keep the colonies. And we are on historical. I did double check. Um, let's see. Do the other party a commune series in Kaiserreich plays a total a syndicalist or totalist KMT? Um, yeah, eventually. That would be kind of fun. That would be fun to do, so. Um, yeah. Cool. Predictive med or pre preventative medicine. Ah, it must be nice having health insurance. But, oh well. Who needs health insurance? God dang it. Um, the French military? Sure, we'll talk about the French military just a wee bit, because we can. Uh, the wars over there is going crazy. Um, what do we want to do next? The Fouché plan? Oh, that's not bad. We'll probably develop motorways first. Oh, and then maybe some heavy investments. And they'll probably expand. I'll run out. And now, everyone, we're doing the Accords de Evian, in which we get the we release the National Liberation Front. Um, after years of endless strife and conflict, the Algerian and French governments have agreed to sign the finalized Evian Accords. This treaty will not only formalize the ceasefire between the two nations, but will also arrange a cooperative exchange between the two countries. The arrangements will guarantee the sovereignty and self determination of the Algerian government and guarantee protection, non discrimination, and property rights for Algerian citizens. So additionally, Algeria will receive aid from France to facilitate the economic growth of the nation. The Accords will also compromise with the French government to allow France to continue primacy over Saharan oil reserves, of course. Protection for several national ethnic groups and several other benefits. What the heck? Hopefully, peace will return to North Africa. You. Oh, this sucks. Well. Ah, uh, maybe generic focus tree. Wow. Uh, this, don't, please don't tell me it's going to just keep popping up. Also, apparently Eretria has um, come about. So, uh, well, supposedly. We have Djibouti still. Oh, we're over here. Eretria and Liberation Front. Uh, they don't like us, and these guys kind of like us. I'm going to support Ethiopia then. We don't like these guys. So Ethiopia? Uh, there you go. Ethiopian Empire, 40. Uh, Eretria has 55. Chris funding for Ethiopia? Sure, why not? Polypropylene? Prop Propylene? Um, sure, why not? And right now, we're just doing, we're just kind of building ourselves up still. Like, we got two things of office parks going on. We're building some water infrastructure. We're getting, actually, as well, a military industrial manufacturer, which is very nice. Putting some roads up. And why am I building up all this stuff in other places? If they don't want to be part of our nation, I don't want to build up their places. So, can we actually still build up in, like, here? No. Yeah, I don't see the point of building up here. Maybe, like, just normal infrastructure. But even then, like, if they don't want to be part of our nation, part of our, you know, group here. I mean, yeah, they're still a colony, but really, for how long? For how long? Uh, that's the case. Renewable power plants. Let's build some of this stuff up because I don't want to build it in places that don't want to be a part of us. But, yeah, our GDP is now almost $89 billion. We almost have... And, $10 trillion in reserve. So I guess kind of I understand why now, like, having a deficit in TNL is really good. Because what do you do after you get all this money? We already paid off our debt. Politique de grandeur? Sure, France. Sure. We've got some other stuff on the right side here. Um, after this, we're probably just going to keep going this way. Development of Paris. Probably expand military production. We'll probably also go ahead and do development of Paris. Like I said earlier, the full shape plan. Um, I really don't want to do increase consumer consumption. It's okay. It's not bad. It's just... It's alright. I don't want to lose consumer goods, but it does give us more construction speed, which is pretty nice as well. So, And then, uh, the South Aviation and Domestic Air Industry. Right now, everyone, we've just finished up Politique de Grandeur, which, like I said earlier, eh, yay, I guess. Dissolve the National Assembly. Huh. Presidential election by universal suffrage. Huh. Friendship Treaty. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and do presidential election by universal suffrage. Because I guess why not? And we're going to lose some stability. 
We'll get it back when we dissolve the National Assembly. All right. Um, Reformation Military Service. What is this, election of 69? Nice. Oh, crap. Who's condemned Chinese Cultural Revolution? Condemn anti-clericalism. Increase relations with America. National unity under the left. Civilian nuclear program. That's not bad. But in the meantime, I've just been kind of hanging out. Honestly, we, I've just been building the economy up. Like, we're getting some office products. We're building a lot. I mean, my goodness. A whole lot of that good industrial complexes. So, even if they have really sucky places to build in, we're still building them. What technology do we need next for, after developed? Because I'd like to increase this. Oh. Catholic, Protestant, irreligious. Makes sense. Um, now, maybe we can actually establish an independent... A dependent state. So now, right now, they're liberal conservatives. Now they're Christian Democrats. <gasps> we actually got them under us. Nice. They actually have another puppet here, which I'm not sure what you, what a puppet does in Cold War Iron Curtain. Just, I mean, I guess maybe it's some of its factories and stuff like that, but hopefully these guys stay the way they should be going. Total equality, huh? Um, anything here that we really care about too much? <clears throat> does it, like, give them any more, like, daily support for any political ideology? Uh, doesn't really look like it. Stand in the schoolhouse door. All right, well, we'll come with us. No one really cares. Globalism versus nationalism debate. Demise of Kenya land and the Freedom Army. Also, we did lose Cameroon completely. Like, uh, we go over to this one. We lost it because all of Cameroon is now independent. I think. Is this all of Cameroon? I can't tell. I literally can't. I don't know my uh, African geography unless it's owned by European powers. So, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say. It is what it is. It's just... Oh, this is such a mess. Africa's such a mess. But at the same time, we have 120, 120 billion in GDP. As well as... Um, we've got almost 30... 30,000 billion? I just don't understand this, man. How do we have 1,700 from resource export income? Like, we're just exporting stuff like crazy. What do I do with the money? Can I pay off the world's debt? Can I literally pay off the world's debt with all this money? I mean, I don't mind to. We'll dissolve the National Assembly next. And I'll start, like, puppeting someone else, hopefully, because we can't do Belgium for some unknown reason. I'm going to do this. I guess maybe free friendship, treaty friendship, friendship treaty with with Germany. That would be too Oh, I got some nerve agents, too. We should use those against the Algerians. Uh, the Algerians that we don't like. Because there are some Algerians we do like. Don't get me wrong. We do like some of the Algerians. Well, other than that, we'll do the treaty thingy, my bot. What is this? Dissolve the National Assembly. Oh, building slots. Expand the nuclear. Ooh. I kind of like that one, too. Assert French independence. But you can't take anyone over. Oh, that'd be too mean. Uh, daily Court of States. That's disgusting. Why would we want this one? Economic dergisme. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm getting it slightly cor correct. Start construction. That's not cool. I want the actual thing done. Create the Racine Mission. That's okay. Of course, I also want to do the Concorde project. Promote Caravelle Jetliners, as well as the DCNS naval contracts, and hopefully get an economic boom sometime here. Uh, of course, like, I can't remember if I did develop urban industries, but of course, we want to surpass Britain because we need to be better in Britain. Better than the British. Well, here we are on May 20th, 1965, and now we're about to finish up Remove the Fleets from the NATO Integrated Command. And Mozambique is gone, but whatever. Um, that kind of pissed off pretty much everyone else in NATO, which... Good job, France. Good job for pissing everyone else off. We'll implement teaching reforms, I guess. So got a lot of money. A lot of GDP. Not nearly as much as the British, though. And Africa's looking slightly more decolonized. Uh, Portuguese Republic did crush the people down there. Uh, the Vietnam actually did eventually win. Oh, hello. Okay, maybe not. United, Liber United Front for the Liberation of Oppressed Races. Huh. Okay. We're gonna repub these guys. That might not be a bad idea. But currently, we're trying to influence Brazil. Because who does not love Brazil? Everyone loves Brazil, right? Everyone does. Oh my goodness, look at all that money we got. It's very nice. It's very nice. But apparently we're supposed to have some sort of elections this year. Elections of 1965, which I'll figure out what that is. I'll uh, probably go this way. Resignation of De, De Gaulle. Uh, withdrawal from NATO Integrated Commandment. 
probably. Let's see what happens, though. Probably go that way. Yeah, we'll probably go that way just because it looks like this keeps going on this way as well, so... That's probably the way we will go. We've been doing, um... We're trying to get an intelligence agency, so we're the Service de Documentation Exterior et de Contraespionage. I took one year of French in high school, and I do not remember what that is. Ex no, never mind. I'm not going to say what else I learned in French for one year, but that's okay. Whoa. Replace extensive conscription with a limited conscription, which honestly means nothing to me. Um, so, yeah. Franco-Portuguese Immigration Treaty. We need to implement teaching reforms for that one. Uh, there's nothing there either. The Giscard Economic Stabilization, which is not bad. And then we have Create the State Security Corps, which I hate a lot. That, that ruins so much political power. We could get so much more political power. Um, reform the RTF, I guess, as well. Which, okay, we need to get the better expansion. It gives us back that political power. And recognize the PRC. Is that a good thing? I don't know. We can only get only two. Military Espionage Academy. Oh. This is actually cutting into our political power game. Oh, I didn't know that. We're spending a lot on welfare, and we have an advanced education system now, too. Don't ask about policing and intelligence, but other than that, our public services policy? Yeah, we're not doing so well on that. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. I've spent so much political power, it's not even funny. But fiscal overview, we're at 35% tax rate. 45% might be really... 45% gives us more construction speed. It's not bad, since we are building three of these at the same time. Eventually, I'm going to be building a lot more than just all these agricultural parks, but... It's alright. Um, we can still build a lot of other areas down here. And we got a lot of things in construction. So, yeah. I guess we'll create the state security court next, because we can. And we'll see what happens about the 1965 presidential elections, which are being kind of held late in 1965, I do say so myself. The National Assembly is held an election for the next president of France. Under the Fourth Republic, the position is now largely ceremonial, but the election may expose how deeply divided the National Assembly remains. The winning candidate must achieve an absolute majority, but after 12 rounds of voting, no candidate is able to secure it. The Assembly remained divided over electing a socialist or conservative candidate, men in the 13th ballot arrived. A compromised candidate, the conservative liberal René Coty, only emerged in the 11th round, was able to secure the votes necessary to be elected. The new president will be sworn in shortly, but is not expected to play any major role in the, in a political, as a political influencer. And historically, it was... Charles de Gaulle, leader for conservatism, independence, and grandeur, more attack and defense on core territory, trade deal, penny factor goes down, acceptance of Marxist Leninist regimes, and Maoist regimes, wow, that kind of sucks, uh, referendum believe to get more political power, so, apologies we don't go the way that you want to, but this, we're literally just going historical, and we got the guy who, who did stuff, but if you want to read about him, please go right ahead, and there you go. I want you to do Giscard Economic Stabilization. Better consumer goods, which is really good. Like I said, we'll, we'll recognize the PRC, or we'll reform the RTF. But that does open up some new focus things for us. Lal Bahadur Strasi passes away. Well, he hasn't got to resign yet. Continue economic dergavisma. Um, truth be told, I think we should probably race through this tree almost as fast as possible. Ooh, ooh we get another shot too. Just because we don't know when he's going to resign. I don't know when that's going to happen. So... We can get some stuff, some pretty good stuff down here. Only, wow, you get minus 1% consumer goods. Wow, is that all? Uh, complete the new Police Nationale. Build the Paris Lille Autoroute. Uh, Israeli. Condemn American Vietnamese strategy. Well, that's fact coming from the French, who can't even contain their own colonies. But whatever. And then France, Luxembourg, border rectification. I uh, definitely want to do this one. The IUT, Fouché Reform, which we already did the other one. Plan Calcul and form nuclear tests in the Pacific. So, um, other than that, I'm just kind of hanging out here. Like, I've just been sitting here for, like, literally two hours, three hours, just sitting here, just kind of letting time go on. As I'm slowly trying to influence the Brazilians, um, and expanding welfare. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting very close, actually, to, uh, why does, why does it keep popping over here, man? Uh, do that real quick. Oh, we got tons of money now, which is very nice. But now what do we do with it? All right, now we can probably hopefully cover them because we have more than we have roughly triple their GDP. Mass prison release in East Germany, but why? Creation of the European Space Agency. The European Space Agency has officially been created with the objective of uniting many different European nations to create an international uh, space agency and promote space-related innovation. 
The agency proceeds to promote cooperation and share scientific knowledge between the members of the agency. In their own words, ESA's purpose shall be to provide for and promote for exclusively peaceful purposes, cooperation among the European states in space research and technology, and the space applications. With a view to their being used for scientific purposes and for operational space application systems. A new dawn for humanity, a waste of time. A new dawn for humanity. Yeah. Coup in Nigeria. Oh boy, another tragic case of instability in Africa. Who could have seen that? Well, this Algeria is doing Algerian things. Other than that, not really much else has happened. Um, like I said, I've just been sitting here. I'm not too sure what to do with the money that we have now. The GDP is not doing bad, and if anything, uh, I guess we can two-stage nuclear thermi or nuclear thermi or device. Nice. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep improving here, and I'm gonna be doing more stuff off screen just because there's literally nothing else going on except that uh, except improving ourselves here, of course. And we're going to keep doing some of these focuses. So, yeah. We're going to probably just wrap this one immediately. The Brezhnev Doctrine, if you're going to be without this, interesting. But if you enjoyed the video, which is kind of shorter than normal, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. When hopefully we keep pushing to the focus tree, and maybe even get to the 1969 elections. Nice. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.